Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be diving into the 2018 Mac Mini. And you might be wondering why. Why did I decide to pick up a Mac when I've always been a PC guy? Well, let me explain. So here's the deal. I've been a PC user my whole life. I've never owned or even used a Mac, despite being an iPhone user. And for some reason, I just never made the switch. Honestly, I think it's because of the price. Macs always seem just way too expensive for what I was looking for. But recently, I've been thinking it's finally time to dip my toes into the Mac world. Uh, I love learning about new tech, and I know plenty of Mac users who absolutely swear by their Macs. So I figured, why not give it a shot? Now, the real challenge was deciding which Mac to get. I didn't want to spend more than $200, though. The last thing I wanted to do was drop a bunch of money on something I might not even end up liking. So I started looking into used M1 MacBooks, but those were going for around, you know, 450 to, you know, 600 bucks, which was, you know, obviously out of my budget. So then I started considering used Mac minis. Now, some of the older 2014 Mac minis were pretty cheap, but honestly, they seemed a little too dated for me. I wanted something that felt a little bit more current, so I set my sights on a 2018 Mac Mini, and I think I found the perfect sweet spot for a budget-friendly used Mac setup. So I ended up snagging this 2018 Mac Mini for just $149 plus shipping from eBay. It's rocking an Intel i5 8500B processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 256 gig SSD. Now, I know it doesn't have one of those fancy Apple chips, but for general productivity, emailing, web browsing, and maybe even some light creative work, I think it should do just fine. Plus, I'm definitely going to be trying out Final Cut Pro on this thing to see what it could do. And one of the cool things about Intel Macs is that they can actually run Windows. So if you're someone who likes having the option of using both operating systems, that's a perk too. Now, when ordering computers from eBay, sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. Will it be in good shape? Will it be well packaged? Uh, this eBay seller, though, had good feedback, so I wasn't too concerned with this one. I really only had one bad experience from a seller getting a computer. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the packaging here or the unboxing of the Mac Mini. So as you can see, I got the power cord here and the Mac Mini itself. Uh, packaging was pretty good. This is looks like it's in pretty good shape from what I can see right now. All right, and here it is. And yeah, it looks in really good shape considering this is, what, a seven-year-old computer at this point? Not too many marks that you could see, you know, unless you look really up close. Here's a look at the back, do a little shake test and everything, you know, nothing loose. I don't hear anything loose. That's a good sign. We got two stickers on the top of the Mac Mini, but these should peel off very easily. And taking a look at the I.O. on the back, so we have four Thunderbolt 3 USB ports, uh, HDMI 2.0 port, and two USB-A ports. So decent amount of connectivity here. All right, so now I'm going to power this on and see how usable this 2018 Mac Mini is in 2025. All right, I'm now going to power this on and see how long it takes for it to boot up. Uh, I have this connected to a 32-inch curved monitor. It's a 1440p screen by Titan Army. All right, we got the Apple logo, so that's a good sign. All right, not too bad at all. All right, so I'm going to get this set up, and then we're just going to see if uh, the specs in the eBay ad match the uh, insides of the 2018 Mac Mini. All right, after messing around with the Mac Mini for a few minutes, uh, I'm definitely going to have a bit of a, a learning curve with this and just, you know, trying to learn how to navigate and, you know, kind of, you know, I've been so set in my ways with getting around Windows, and I know Mac, um, you know, kind of is a little bit different, obviously. 
All right, so I found uh, the specs for the Mac Mini and everything matches the ad. So I have the six core um, i5 processor. We have 16 gigs of RAM and that 256 gig SSD. And as far as a mouse and keyboard, I ended up picking up this Logitech uh, Bluetooth mouse, the M240 Silent. Now, originally I was just using the mouse pad or trackpad on this uh, keyboard mouse pad you know, combo from Logitech. But, you know, after using it for a while, uh, I just didn't find it too comfortable. I'm still using the keyboard part, but, you know, I wanted to get that, um, you know, separate mouse because it was just way more comfortable to use. All right, so now I'm just going to do some testing now. I'm just going to, uh, you know, do some web browsing, uh, watch a YouTube video, and just open up a bunch of Chrome tabs. Uh, I ended up downloading Chrome because I didn't want to use Safari. I just like Chrome better. Uh, so here's some YouTube web browsing. Let's see how, you know, good the video looks. Again, this is a 1440p screen. And I'm just going to mute the video just to avoid any possible copyright issues. I'm not sure, but just to be safe. All right, so YouTube video playback is pretty smooth, no issues there. So now what I'm going to do is just open up, you know, a bunch of different tabs to see how the Mac Mini can handle it. Uh, I think it's going to have no issues whatsoever, but let's see. All right, so I got, you know, YouTube in one tab. Uh, I got New York Mets in another. I got Newegg. I got Walmart. Uh, let's try, you know, open up an Amazon tab here. No issues. Uh, let's go for, uh, yeah, let's go to Nassau.gov. Pretty snappy. This is coming up, you know, pretty quickly. You know, pretty impressed with this so far. And by the way, I am using Wi-Fi. I do not have an Ethernet connection hooked up. This is via Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, scrolling up and down here in the Target website, no issues whatsoever. And let's open up another YouTube video. All right, so I got one Chrome tab playing one video, and the first Chrome tab here is playing, you know, the other video. So no issues. This is running buttery smooth. And here I have just two separate YouTube videos playing at the same time. Everything looks good. All right, general web browsing, not going to have an issue. YouTube videos, not going to have an issue. Uh, I went ahead and ran Geekbench 6 on the Mac Mini and got a single core score of 1415 and a multi-core score of 5496. And I went ahead and downloaded Final Cut Pro. I know a lot of content creators use it, so I wanted to try it myself. Uh, right now, I just use CapCut on my Windows PC. Uh, I'm still learning how to use Final Cut Pro, and I do want to, in the future, edit a full video on Final Cut Pro after I master it. Uh, going through the timeline right here is really smooth. Uh, keep in mind, I only shoot in 1080p, though. And by the way, I did not know Final Cut Pro costs so much money. 300 bucks? Wow. Uh, right now, I am just using the 90-day trial here. Now, you can partition the hard drive and run Windows natively on the 2018 Mac Mini. And I actually think you can do that on any Intel-based Mac, uh, you know, whether it's a MacBook or a Mac Mini. And I do plan on experimenting with that in the future. Uh, but right now, what I want to do is I just want to try to do some cloud gaming via the Xbox, uh, xCloud, or whatever it's called now, uh, cloud gaming. So let's try a little bit of that. All right, so here I am playing Fortnite. I am using an Xbox uh, controller via Bluetooth. And I gotta say, I have not tried Xbox Cloud Gaming in quite a while. And this is really working very well. Very little latency. Uh, probably the best cloud gaming experience I've ever had so far. All right, so here I am waiting for a game to start, and I just wanted to show the uh, latency or how little the latency is going on right now in this game. And yeah, I don't know if Xbox has been working on their cloud gaming uh, services lately, but it feels really smooth. I'm really impressed right now.
All right, guys, so the 2018 Mac Mini is a great budget option to dip your toes into the world of Mac. Uh, this is, you know, this is a great PC. It's a solid performer. You can upgrade this fairly easily from what I've read. I haven't tried it myself because I'm pretty happy with the current specs of this. This has great ports and connectivity. You got four Thunderbolt 3 ports. Uh, you got that HDMI 2.0 port, two USB-A ports. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. Um, Mac OS, the latest Mac OS is still being supported. I don't know how long that's going to last, but you know, maybe one more year. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet that, you know, Apple hasn't announced that yet. Uh, you could use this for a bunch of stuff, you know, uh, like video editing, like I tried out before. Uh, you could use this as a media server, um, you know, basic web browsing and, you know, office work and stuff like that. It's Windows and Linux compatible, which is great. Um, you know, it's not as powerful as the latest and greatest Apple chips, but uh, this is a great, great computer. If you're looking for an affordable, upgradable Mac with great connectivity, the 2018 Mac Mini is a solid choice in 2025. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.